Yeah, we did some heavy duty days, you know, and stuff like that, but it was enjoyable. But the thing was, for me, you know, meeting and getting to know the band was really good. But I don't think the band really understood the opportunity that the manager, Tony Oteta, was giving me because I was a live sound guy. I was, you know, going to be a roadie, you know, and that's not what I wanted. I had just, you know, I was married. And I had one little baby already, you know, and there was going to be a second on the way shortly. So he changed my career by giving me this opportunity. And, you know, I used it as a learning experience every day. The first time I saw Bob, no, I don't exactly remember. I do remember him being the local wizard here. He was always fixing something. I don't think it would have worked without you. It wouldn't. It definitely wouldn't, because I mean, I, I heard the story earlier on about you, the tape machine throwing, you know, tape all over the place. But um, yeah, you, you were always busy in the back room putting yes. stuff together. We'd have like pull things out of the board, and you'd have to fix something or crawl under something. I actually, I remember a couple of times over the years talking to you because I know you did live. Uh, you were a front of house sound engineer, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I don't think we ever worked together, but I seem to recall calling you once or twice to see if you were up for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but we have three sound engineers now because uh, we, we, we work, you know, we'll do two or three days then we'll have a week off. So uh, we've got three people. So you want to come out and do it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'd, I'd, have to, I'd have to go to a rehearsal. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've, I haven't mixed in a long time. I, you know, I spent... Uh, you know, a lot of years after being here, uh, I, the rest of my career really was in recording studios and, and mastering. I worked at Sterling Sound in New York City, in a, which is a, one of the big independent mastering houses. And uh, after that, I went into broadcasting. You know, as a matter of fact, when the guys uh, bought Boogie Hotel from Fog Out, when the owners took over, Bob Ludwig, who's probably right. the, the most famous master the, engineer in the planet. The. Uh, yeah, the Bob Ludwig. Uh, he was a silent partner. Uh, I did a record here with him uh, for the band Vogue. He was he was the go-to person. Yeah. Uh, you, you wanted your record to sound good and not jump all over the place and be loud. Bob. Bob was a boy. He was, he was something else. <laughs>